Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk to you about Luminar Neo, a photo editing software that's got really cool features. I just want to take a little minute to talk about the software and I'll show you how I edit some of my personal photos. Now I gotta be honest, I first got introduced to this program uh, really recently. At first I didn't know if it was gonna offer me much more than the programs I was already using, like uh, Photoshop and uh, Lightroom. But as I got to play around and edit some of my personal photos, well, I noticed that it's really easy to use and if you're a beginner or if you uh, just a hobbyist, uh, you're really gonna like it. So this software has really cool features. The main key features are upscale AI. That means that you can upscale your pictures up to six times to enhance the image resolution. You can also remove power line with a simple slider. That task alone can take you up to 20 minutes in some other softwares. You can also, of course, increase the dynamic range of your photo by using HD HDR merge, HDR merge, sorry. <laughs> Another cool feature about Luminar Neo is a tool called Super Sharp AI. It removes the blurriness in your photos caused by camera shake or missed focus or movement. Of course, there's a lot more in Luminar Neo, but I'm not gonna talk about all of this in this video. I just wanna point out a couple of key features. In my opinion, what makes Luminar really special is that it uses uh, simple controls. With just a click or a slider, you can complete really complex tasks that would normally take you up to 10 to 20 minutes in some other software. By the way, if you'd like to try it yourself, uh, there's a link in the description below where you can save 10% of your subscription. Uh, if you use the code Yousef10. Uh, full disclosure, there's a small benefit for me. So if you click on that link, I'm gonna get a small commission, but uh, well, it's a win-win because you're gonna pay less. And if you want to support my channel, well, that's a good way to do it. All right, so let's jump in the software, Luminar Neo, and I'll show you how I edit some of my softwares. All right, so let's jump in the Luminar Neo software and I'll show you how I edit some of my personal photos. Let's go. Okay, so once you load the program, this is the screen you're gonna see. You can see all your photos here. Uh, you can click on Luminar Neo to see what software version you're in. On the right side right here, you can see HDR Merge focus stacking and upscale. These are the three plugins that you can use in the catalog tab right here. The one that I like to use is this one right here, HDR Merge. You can see you can drag from one to 10 photos. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this picture right here and I'm gonna drag it here and click on Merge. By doing this, it's gonna tell the artificial intelligence to uh, create an HDR version based on only one picture. And you can see now the photos is uh, the photo is gonna be here in HDR merge. So that's pretty cool. Double click on it. This is what it created so far. It's really nice. Like if you go back to all photos, catalog, that's the before, that's the after. Only one click. That's crazy, right? You can also go on preset tab, and the the software is gonna give you like options to use presets. I usually don't use this, but we can take a look at what it's gonna make to my picture. Just put your mouse over the preset and it's gonna give you a preview of what it's actually doing. And there's nothing in here that I'd like to see. Maybe this one, you can also click on it and then dial a little bit of the effect off. But uh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna use this. So no presets. And then you go on the edit tab. This is where you're going to make all your edits. And every time you do an edit, let's say you bring the exposure up a little bit, then you go on the edits tab right here and you're going to see what you did for this picture. So this is my develop tool. This is the exposure that I just brought up. I can remove it by clicking two times here. And this is everything that the HDR merge did to my picture. This is really nice. Okay, so let's go back to the tool right here. So yeah, so you can click on J on your keyboard and this is gonna give you a preview of what's underexposed and what's overexposed. What's underexposed is gonna be in blue and what's overexposed is gonna be in red. Let's say I wanna bring up the exposure and you see there's a lot of red here because the sun is here. So usually you don't want that, but since it's the sun, it's gonna be overexposed anyways. But I'm gonna keep it like this. 
All right, so since the HDR merge have done a pretty good job with the exposure, I'm not gonna mess around the develop tool, but usually this is where I will play with exposure and contrast and uh, the curve. Uh, usually I would bring up the highlights and bring down the shadows, but the HDR tool did a pretty good job for that. I wanna show you the crop AI tool right here. If you don't know how to crop your photo, you just click on here, composition AI, it's gonna calculate like what kind of composition the photo might be. So you see for this picture, it's gonna give me that kind of crop. I like it, but uh, I'd like to keep it normal. Okay, this tool right here, Relight AI, I really love it. You can play around with brightness near. This is gonna brighten up uh, anything that is near. So let's say I want to brighten the foreground right here. But usually I will try to darken the foreground so this is kind of nice before and after yeah i like that so do i want to add brightness to anything that is far yes i do i want to brightness this area right here so before and after i want to adjust the depth just a little bit like that atmosphere ai oh this looks pretty cool you see i just added some layered fog and it looks like it made a little bit of the water uh the splash from the water more intense so before and after oh i like that i'm gonna keep it that way sun rays oh my god i love this play sun ray yeah so the sun is here and wow that's crazy you just slide up the amount of the, the sun ray you want. It's gonna add some sun rays. I don't wanna hit the foreground. So like that is good. Penetration. Sun setting, sun radius. Sun glow radius. Number of ray. That's crazy. So that's before, after, before, after. Hmm, I kind of like it. So you can put a lot into your photo. That's really crazy. So you go on mood right here, click on mood, choose your lot, and you can also hover with your mouse and it's gonna give you a preview of what the lot looks like. That's really cool, 1960, I love it. And you can bring up the amount or bring down the amount before, after. I love that. So anytime you want to see the before or after of your picture, just click on here. This is what we started with. And this is what the picture looks like now. If I click on glow, oh, this is what I love so much. Soft glow. I want to give a little soft glow on my picture. You know, just play around the Orton effect. I love the Orton effect, but I don't think it's gonna, it's giving me what I like. Soft focus, maybe? Glow? I love soft focus. Okay, so if I understand, this is gonna give you like a little bit of a dreamy look, like I use in, in a couple of my picture. I love the dreamy look. So this is the before and this is the after. All right, let's keep on going. Film grain. No, I don't like to put film grain, um, especially in landscape pictures. It's better to not put a film grain. Uh, this is for portrait, so it's not gonna work for my picture. Super contrast. Yes, I want to add super contrast. Not that much, but just like that. Uh, that's for the highlights. Uh, do I want some super contrast in the mid-tones? Yes, I do. 23 looks fine. In the shadows, I don't want no contrast in the shadows. That's the before and after. All right, so that's it. That was the before and after. Before and after. If you click here, you can also drag with your mouse and see the before and the after. So once you're done, you just click here on share, click on share to disk. 
I always put the quality at 100% because why not? I'm gonna name this Luminar Edit. And I'm gonna put it in my Canary Island folder. Click on save. And that's it guys. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you got some value out of this video, please subscribe to my channel. It's really appreciated. And once again, if you would like to subscribe to Luminar Neo, go ahead and go in the description below and you can save 10% of your subscription. And uh, that's it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.